I am Assistant Superintendent of Police, Alan Nshimie Rugayampunzi. I'm the Public Relations Officer of the Directorate of ICT in the Uganda Police Force and also the Liaison Officer of the National Command and Control Center. And uh, this center is the one that handles all issues dealing with the uh, CCTV. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank all citizens who are law abiding to continue and carry on that way. Secondly, the Directorate of ICT has very many applications that are even mobile phone based, which you can use. There is the UPF Mobis, which can give you numbers of all police officers and also show you the nearest police station wherever you are in this country. We also have the Interpol app where you do not now need to go and line up uh, at Interpol in seeking for a certificate of good conduct. All this you can get it on the police website and uh, you apply online. There are also other apps that are internal. We, we have the human resource management information systems, which is being used to uh, manage the payroll of the Uganda Police Force staff. All those apps and many more are made by our own police officers. They are Ugandan apps made by Ugandans. We also uh, appeal to the Ugandans that we have got a training institute um, at uh, Chikandwa. It is a training research and development institute that if you have an idea, especially if it is about uh, fighting crime and the, the development of the country, you can come and share with us that idea and together with our experts in coding, we can come up with the application with your input. Uh, and all that is due to you shall be given to you. However, today I specifically wanted to talk, to, to talk about the Safe City Project, which is a project that oversees the CCTV, the Close Circuit television. Now in CCTV, the Uganda police manages about uh, four cameras, types of cameras. We have the automatic number plate recognition cameras. We have the intelligent video system cameras. Uh, we have the facial uh, recognition cameras. And uh, we also have the, 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 what we call the mobile cameras, but uh, this one is uh, mostly used uh, by the presidential convoy. So all those cameras are managed by uh, the Uganda police force. However, I am most interested today in talking about uh, the automatic number plate recognition cameras where the traffic has managed in the last uh, three months to get 800 vehicles plus that are that were involved in uh, in different sorts of crimes including uh, traffic offenses including uh, criminal offenses for example, vehicles that were used in uh, robbery, used to kidnap people, uh, they were interfering with the presidential convoy, vehicles that uh, were involved in hit and run accidents. A person comes, causes an accident and, and takes off with the vehicle after either knocking a person or a cyclist or a, a fellow motor vehicle driver. All these 800 vehicles were impounded due to our blacklisting 
capabilities of the of the cameras we appeal to all ugandans that this infrastructure is put there for you for your protection if possible and if you can you yourself can set up a camera at home and we we appeal to you that those who can please have CCTV set up in your own premises at home and your own business premises so as to complicate to to complement the the police cameras that are up and running also those of you who are in doubt that the cameras do not work you'll be shocked if you are going to think you're going to use this opportunity to commit crime and get away with it. It will not happen. Some of our cameras are uh, not visible to the human eye, to the citizen. You may not see that uh, there is a camera on a certain place, a certain point, but there are cameras that are there and you'll be good. So we urge you, stay safe, observe the law, and if there is any query, always contact a police officer. I want to inform you that images from the camera are free of charge. So if you have any issues where the CCTV can help you, please contact any, the nearest police officer pol at the police station. They are going to make a write-up, or if they delay, you yourself can make a write-up to the director of ICT and the director of ICT will help you access uh, the footages. We have so many, uh, so far now, as by my count, uh, we have 600 uh, convicted, completed cases where people have been convicted relying on uh, different CCTV uh, footages and our analysts are always present to go and testify in court in the different courts of law throughout the country so we are here to help you all the technologies that the the directorate of ICT has put up it is not only about cameras but the directorate of ICT also um, is the one responsible for issuing computers, issuing all radio communication to all police officers. It is also the directorate of ICT that provides technical, uh, technical management of the 99 system, that whenever you have an issue, you can immediately call 99, uh, in case of emergency, any emergency, be it medical or be it criminal. In case of any emergency, when you call that number, there will be a person to respond to your, to your need at all times. So, stay safe, observe the law.